So it is another year, another Waffentrager event. Uh, we've had these for the last two years, I think, because I think we had it the year before, and the year before that, and now we have it this year, right? So we have had three years now, I think. I, I might be missing one, but either way. Um, and obviously what comes with the WT event is the loot boxes along with them, which you can now get the Chieftain prototype out of. Um, I don't encourage this. Uh, it's, it's The Chief Proto is quite nice, right? It's okay. It's balanced, to be honest, um, because the gun is not that great. Um, it's not got very much DPM. It is a tier 9 premium, so sure, like the matchmaker is kind of nice. Um, and the turret armor is really, really nice. However, the hull armor is weak. You can't really side scrape effectively in this tank. And as I said, the gun is very, very derpy sometimes. This is a lot like a Concept 1B gun, where the stats say 0.33 or 0.32 or whatever. But realistically, it doesn't really perform that way half the time. It's not got very good stabilization, so you need a V-stab. And the actual... Like top speed is fine, but the power to weight is not very good. So you need a turbo to bump that up. And then that leaves the rammer, which is just essential considering that this thing gets hardly any DPM and you are just not going to be doing anything if you don't have a rammer. The chief prototype, not really worth you spending hundreds of pounds or dollars on this, on this game to try and get one of these things because there's not even a guarantee that you will get this tank. It will eventually be sold somewhere else along the line. If you really want the tank, wait and get it then. As I say, with pretty much all the premium tanks that are actually, you know, worth it in my opinion, leave some money aside if you really, really want them. And then at the point that they come on sale, you can buy them because you have that money there aside ready for that exact moment. So, as you can see, if we click on the massive portal, we have the WTE100 and we also have the uh, free tanks that will be used to try and destroy it, known as the Harriers. There is also now this new progression tab up here, which if we click, you'll be seeing a battle pass style of missions or collections that you will be able to go through. And it goes all the way up to level 20, at which point you will get a WTE100 for five games. And yes, this is the actual WTE100 that you can play in the random queue. There is a total of 50 games that you can play in the WTE100 because the only other way of getting them is again by gambling and being able to get it. So tier 10 at the moment is actually not flooded by these because it's quite rare that you actually see these, um, but it is gonna be annoying to play with or play against um, because it does do you know 2k damage in a matter of seconds um, it will get get rid of a full hp i7 no issue in one clip and you can even you know fully clip out a mouse if you get some high rolls i don't agree with this i don't agree with the gambling um, because this is not a good loot box okay i'm telling you this right now do not think that these loot boxes are like the Christmas loot boxes. They are not. You only get 100 gold out of these boxes, and then it gives you the chance to re-roll using 150 extra. The Christmas boxes are well worth your money because you will get your price in gold out of it. These boxes, not really. For example, for £3.85, you are getting five engineer starter keys which is, for all intents and purposes, 500 gold if you don't skip anything. So you don't re-roll, you don't do anything like that. You just go and claim whatever five you get, you get 500 gold plus whatever else you get. That is not worth your money because for 500 gold, £3.85, remember, you could pay £1.93 for 500 gold. You could pay £3.63 for 1,000 gold. So unlike the actual loot boxes at Christmas, these are really gambling because the only reason why you would choose these is to just try and get a good reward. Sure, you'll get one of these as an extra reward, but there's no guarantee. Sometimes you get five D-mount kits, which are not worth it. 
So I hate these boxes with a passion. Yeah, I wish that this gave you more gold, to be honest. Um, even if it gave you 250, so you had a completely free reroll, that would be a lot better than what it is at the moment. Because 100 gold is a joke, to be quite honest with you. Anyway, more about this game mode. So, as you may know from last year, the exact same tanks are back in it. We obviously have the M48, the 140, and the Batcha. And of course, we do have the WT E100, uh, or the, the Blitzträger Alf E110. Um, it's biased towards the E100. It's quite hard to actually win with a random team. And I mean very hard, because if the E100 has any sort of intelligence level, you will lose with a random team. It just It's just how it is. Unless you have a platoon of three people in Discord that all know what they're doing and know about the game and can actually play together as a team, you're probably going to lose against the WT. I even went and tried to already record this video and I thought, yeah, you know what? I'll play a random game and I thought, yeah, I could just try hard a little bit and we could end up winning. That's not happening. Um, we got into one game. One guy immediately left the game so that he was no longer part of the team. And that was only five of us against the WT instead of the six, which was just fantastic. And then I tried to platoon with my friend and we still ended up losing just because two people in a platoon is not really enough. You need three. Even though the yes, I am experienced in this game and so was my friend, it's not happening. Like, if you don't have a team that works together, it just won't work. Now, another thing that I think is just absolutely stupid is the way that the WT can just gain health without really any problems whatsoever. And now we're going to go into a game and we'll talk about this more when we're in game. Um, I'm going to choose the, yeah, we'll choose the 140 um, and see how this goes. And we are now on steps. And as you can see, we have our team. We have our enemies as well. That one went nowhere close to where I even... I don't even know where that went, to be honest with you. Um, but speaking about the WT and the stupid ability. As you can see here, while we're killing these... And by the way, it's very, very easy to set people on fire if you just aim at the back of the, uh, the tank. You can actually set them on fire pretty easily. So the way that you gain plasma as you can see here, is by just destroying the enemy vehicles um, that are in the in the camps. Um, I, I, I call them camps, but, you know, I don't really know what else to call them, to be fair. Um, all the vehicles have a turbo on the number two key that you can press. However, if the WT kills you while you have this plasma, he can just go up to the plasma, collect it, and there is nothing you can do about that. And I mean nothing. Um, I'm also trying to pull this guy over here. If I can. Go. Oh, please. Go to two. Man. I don't understand what... Why are they shooting? This is what I mean. They, th this team is genuinely clueless. Why are they sniping this? He has shields. Oh, man. Okay, well, I mean, I'm clearly just wasting my time here with this team, but that's fine. Not really too much we can do. Hello. I mean, well done. Um, I think we're dead either way here. Yeah, we're dead here. I'd... <laughs> Man. This is what I mean. We have no chance of winning. Like a zero chance of winning. Because the WT is now in between these two sections. And now he's just going to go and kill this. There's nothing they can do. Like they've all gone... Oh my god. Like I'm sorry, right? That it seems like I'm negative about this game mode. But it is a stupid game mode, if you're not in a platoon. It's really dumb, actually. Really, really dumb. So as you can see, the WT 
he can just happily sit in between these two. Which brings me up to another problem with this game mode. How are we meant to win when the two points are so close together? They, there is no chance of us getting to that generator if the WT uses his brain. All he has to do is sit right here where I've just pinged and we lose the game because we cannot get to either number two or number one. But this guy's dead now. Uh, in a second, he'll be dead. Okay, or just don't. Try and get out of here. Like, the time's running out. He's already at number two. Watch. I, there's no point in me going into it. This guy, this guy has already won. Because all that's going to happen now... Look, he'll use this. There you go. And now this guy's dead. Like, sure, you're just denying the inevitable now. Even if I sit into this... Okay. Okay, this guy's an actual idiot. But there we go. Look, now it's over. Okay, that, that WT nearly lost that, which was impressive, to be honest. Um, but yeah, now it's over. There's nothing we can do. I, I won't respawn in time. Time's running out. We don't have plasma. Well, we do have plasma, but it does, it's not going to ma matter. We lose. We can't, we can't get to either one of these. <laughs> like, it's, like, sure, we have overtime. Brilliant. But we, what are we meant to do with the overtime? The WT can sit here, farm the person crossing. I, uh... Oh man, it's really dumb actually. Come on, are we even going to do this in time? Yeah, we should do this in time. But the thing is, you can even tell, right? We shouldn't even be allowed to do this. Realistically. Like, we, we should have actually already been losing this. We use my uh, high damage shot here. Which will do 700 damage. Very nice. You can pen it pretty much anywhere. Uh, which is nice. And like, sure, we're doing a fair amount of damage, but we're going we're gonna to die as soon as we need to try and move anywhere. It's so biased towards the WT. And at least now we're going to get different zones, but... It makes no difference. Like, hopefully we get zones that are far apart. Because if the zones are close together, like the last ones, there is nothing we can do about that. Okay, so this one's actually a lot better because the zones are spread out a lot. However, we're not going to get there in time. It's just not going to happen. So the WT is now going to go there. Okay, well, realistically, what we should be doing is going down around, but... Ugh. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be even able to kill these in uh, this amount of time. Come on, capture it. Okay. Alright, well, no overtime there. Do you only get overtime once? I don't know. But yeah, that's what I mean. And like, you go to this... This guy isn't a statistically good player. There's no disrespect to this guy. But like you wouldn't expect this guy to be just demolish us with no issues. Right? When we have people on our team, which are 57% wins. 
uh, 45. You have me, I have like 55 or whatever. But like, it just doesn't matter. And you get 5,000, which is just a joke, to be honest. Um, like, what's the point of playing this game mode if you're not even going to give us anything that's actually worth it for the rewards? Like, sure, we get some bonds out of this, but... And, like, yeah, we get some keys to unlock stuff and whatnot, but... Realistically, the rewards aren't even that good. So, we are now going to play the WT. And either, you know, 90% of the time, I'm going to be winning this game. It's just how it is. I hope, actually, that I lose this game and I get a platoon that actually knows what they're doing because then that would actually make this video quite interesting to watch. Um, but yeah, we're going to play WT. I have one key, so I have one key? Oh dear, that sounds a bit dodgy. It reminds me of that uh, the joke with uh, Michael McIntyre at the, uh, the hotel check-in. Uh, that was good. Anyway, we are... Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go into this thing and hopefully we will uh actually come across a platoon that's actually good not gonna lie they have a slight issue with the uh amount of uh wts compared to uh, harriers we are in the wt look at this beautiful machine and uh we are now unfortunately for us the two points are so far apart from each other it is nearly impossible for me to actually cover them both. So uh, I've been royally screwed by RNG. Um, so that's always good. Oh, a bit like those two shots there. I mean, the first one, sure. I wasn't expecting that one to pen or hit. Uh, the second one would have been nice. Okay, and also that one. I mean, this guy's sniping. Don't know why you would want to do that. That's a bit weird. Um, considering you don't get anything out of the, uh, sniping in this. Um, you can bounce, obviously, with the WT. But it's rare that that happens. <clears throat> um, the really good thing is that I can teleport in a second. So uh, we'll, we'll go and teleport over here and uh, focus the uh, plasma carrier. Oh, that's very annoying. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that guy actually has a brain and decided to turn away, and RNG said no to me. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I love how my RNG in this tank is nowhere close to what RNG the other people seem to be getting. Like, this tank misses so much for me. It just doesn't even feel accurate half the time. So, they are gonna get their generator blown up and we are going to have our shields go down but we should be able to kill this guy so there's that I'm going to use our special ability as well I don't even need to do that um, but here you go look I can just absorb this plasma without any worries And the thing is, even if you shoot, even if you shoot me, it doesn't do anything. Like, look at that. I've just absorbed that. All my health's back instantly. And realistically, all I have to do is just sit here for 30 seconds. Oh, okay. This guy actually knows what he's doing. As he, <laughs> I say, as he just drives into a rock. <laughs> and then in front of me, which is, uh, again, very interesting tactic. Uh, sir? Okay, well, we're going to use this so that he slows down. There we go. And now he's... 
And now his plasma's gone. trapped himself. Well done. So, we still have all of, our, all of our health, even though that, you know, nothing really happened. And now, these two zones are right next to each other. We're not even playing well. But where is he going to go? Come on, game. There is nowhere for this guy to go. Best thing is, I could just leave him on 200 health if I wanted to. But I won't. You know. We'll reload. They're not going to do anything. Like, 64 damage. That's not going to do anything. And as long as we cover this... We'll be absolutely fine. So hopefully we can kill this, and then we just cover number one. But it's so stupid, actually. Are you going to... Okay. <laughs> right. So wait, from this position... Oh, they really fought this one through, didn't they? So that bit is out in the open. This bit is out in the open. I could just sit here. Come on. Come and collect your thing. Very balanced. It's all right. Oh, look. They're coming this way. Might even be able to kill them before they even get to it. Now this guy is going to have his force filled. Okay. Wait. Where is that? Oh, come on. That's a little bit of a joke. I won't mind. There we go. And now that is dead. And now he is now dead, nearly. And I hate this camera angle. Yeah. Why does it keep pointing me up to the sky? Stop. Let me just absorb this plasma. Thank you. That was a bad shot, but whatever. Oh, look. Oh, look. I've absorbed your plasma. And now you lose. No, we don't. Oh, my God. It's not even aiming correctly. We didn't even play well. Like, what are those two spawns? What are they meant to do? Like, I literally played like a bot. And I still won. Like, I'm sorry, but this game mode is so dumb. 52%. 49%. That's 48%. 48%. 44%. They're not even that bad. Like, I played so bad towards the end there, but because I had half a brain, right, to realise that I could sit up on that hill, there is no chance for them to possibly capture that without me putting damage in. And all I had to do was drive down there, use my ability for the area of effect. It resets everyone in that, because as soon as I get stunned, that's it. And I've won! I mean, apart from the weird camera angle where it keeps pointing me up to the sky for no reason at all, which would have been a lot easier if it just remembers where I'm looking. I don't know. This game mode is stupid. It really is. <laughs> it's really dumb, actually. <laughs> so I don't recommend you even bother playing this game mode unless you have a platoon of three people. If you have a platoon of three people that are competent at the game, this will be okay. It's still not a guaranteed win, though, because as I said, sometimes... Like those spawns that I got. There's nothing you can do. There is no way for you to possibly capture what I was defending. Because I have an area of effect ability, which I can just drive into the generator. And it's like 50 meters away. 
and I will I will just interrupt that cap or that generator destruction. It's so stupid. I can teleport anywhere on the map that I want to. You know, it has a 120 second cooldown, but that's fine. I just think that, that it's way too geared towards the WT. If the two capture points were actually always the opposite end of the maps and you could actually, you know, like choose where to go and they actually had to work as a team to do it because even then it's not even guaranteed that the WT is um, going to lose if both the capture points are at the opposite end of the map because if you don't work as a team, you're not going to put in enough damage to actually be able to kill it. So you could have one person running off doing that thing and then one person running off doing that thing. As long as the WT is killing some of the people, they stand a chance of winning. But if you work as a team, you are going to kill that WT a hell of a lot easier. And last thing that I want to mention is that you do get Harrier crates. These are completely useless, so I'm not going to lie. Um, well done, I got a larger pair kit. I could reroll for 25,000 credits, but no, I don't care. I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't even remember how bad it was last year, to be honest. Whether or not it was just so biased towards WT or not. Yeah, I think the spawn locations are just dumb. Like, the spawn location really ruined this game mode. Um, because the WT just has such an easy time to just win. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, yeah, this is a little bit negative about the game mode, but... I I, I want to show you the real game mode. Like, there's no point in me telling you, yes, this game mode is amazing. No. No, no, it's not. Last year was actually pretty good. But this year, I don't know. Something is, maybe, you know, the player base just got a little bit more intelligent um, when they're playing in the WT and then just turn all their brain cells off when they get into the Harriers. But either way, thank you much for watching. You know what to do if you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video.